Hey guys, my name is David and welcome to the Tech Productivity Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Asana throughout the day, some of the processes that I use for my business, basically to help use Asana to help optimize our processes. But if you are wanting to use Asana to get the most out of your business, you can check the link in the bio. You'll have access to a free course that me and my team have created. Let's waste no time and dive right in. So, the first thing that I like to do during the day is I come over to my tasks. This is basically just all the tasks that have been assigned to me. And the best thing about it is you can customize it according to the way you want to view it. So for me, I've customized it into three sections. So I have do to do today, do within the next week, and then recently assigned. So any, any, task that is assigned to me will automatically come here into the recently assigned section. But then what I've done is I put rules in place over here and customize. So if you come down here, you can see the rules we've created that if the date changes to due today, if I physically change the date to due today, the task will automatically move to the to, day, to do today section. And then when the date is approaching, when it is due within the next week, it'll automatically move into this section here. So this is a great way to just come in and see what is the task that I have due today. And then I can organize them based on what I want to do. So for me, I have, for instance, here I have my daily four pause post. This is for my wine company. This is the first thing I want to do every single day. So I want to drag this and put this at the top here. And then we have the daily tech connected productivity posts. So these two things are the first thing I want to do in the day. So it's the first thing that's going to come in here. And then here we have some other tasks that I want to do that I can work through throughout the day. The beauty of this system is that you can customize and organize this on how best suits you. So let's say you're a person who really is using Asana and wants to be as organized as possible and you want to do things throughout the day you want to organize your day according you can create a morning section you can create an afternoon section and then what we can do is we can come into these tasks here and we can just say okay well i don't feel like the, i'm not going to do this in the morning so i'm just going to change this from the to do today to the morning section and then what's that and then we come into here and we say, okay, the tech connected productivity post I'm going to do in the afternoon. We're going to come up here and we're going to move it to the afternoon. And then automatically what's going to happen is you're going to see it's going to move down here into this section here. So you can organize the my tasks as you see fit. But this is a great way to just see what you have to do today and the best timing that works for you. The next thing I do is I head over to my inbox. So an inbox is basically your notification system inside Asana, basically telling you any information that someone is doing on a new task, any collaborations with anyone, any updates to any projects that you're currently working on, all the notifications will be in here. So if I come in here to, let's say here we have our 20 minute daily productivity planner, we'll see Mike has assigned this to me and he's put in He's assigned it to me and I can just check out all the information here. And once I've seen this, once I'm happy that, okay, cool, perfect. I, I know what I need to do here. I can archive this notification and then it gets out of my inbox. So I like to regularly check my inbox throughout the day to just make sure what I need to do. If anyone is notifying me on any upcoming topics, any upcoming tasks that I need to do. And once you've archived, all your archiving is essentially just removing from your inbox. Once you've archived all your uh, notifications, this will say you're up to date with your team's work. So now throughout the day, if any notification or there's any update comes through to you, it'll automatically come here and then you can continue with the work as planned. The next thing I like to do is I like to forward my emails into Asana. So throughout the day, I often have people reaching out to me to do business via email because some, a lot of people aren't working on Asana. A lot of people are working from their own systems and email is still a form of communication that most people use. And so I want to create tasks for myself inside Asana via this email. So I'll head into my email and I can just head into the email here. For instance, we've got, uh, 
a sales invite. So I can just forward this then to x at mail.asana.com. And because this email address is the account that I'm using for my Asana, Asana is automatically going to send this through. So if I send this through here, I come into my back into my Asana, my tasks and recently assigned is here. This has come through here. So if I go into here, all the details from it. So the email you can see right here. And then I can update accordingly. So let's say I am wanting to do, I'm needing my partner to work on this. I can just say at Michael, take a look and update accordingly. Now Michael will receive a notification in his inbox and he can work on this task that has been created by the email. And this is a fantastic thing because just during the day, if you're getting notifications, you're getting updates, they're automatically going to be in your inbox all the time. The next thing I like to do is if I'm working on tasks during the day, I like to keep the collaborators that I'm working with updated. So for instance, in this task here, I am collaborating with Michael. So here we are saying this is a, a YouTube video we're creating talking about Asana. So I'll come in here and I'll say at uh, the person's name that I'm wanting to work it with. I have done the research and we can film tomorrow. So now when I comment here, Michael's going to know where we are with the project, how far we've come along and what needs to be done. The beauty of this is that with Asana, all of your communication can be done within the tool. So I don't need to reach out an email. I don't need to send him a WhatsApp because he can just look here and inside in his Asana and all the notifications are going to be here regarding the project. And then obviously, as I work through the day, if a project is done, so then I'm going to work through a project. This I've researched the 10 videos that I'm going to be doing. Well, okay, this task is done and we're going to click on this and now it's going to move out of my to-do today. And so we're just working through all our tasks. Again, we're going to constantly be coming back into this my task section because instead of having to go through all the different portfolios, projects that we're doing, I mean, we can see we've got, we've got a whole bunch of projects we have to go through. It's far easier to just do everything from the my task section because it's just a central place where you can see everything that you need to do during the day. And finally, I like to update the due dates of the tasks that I'm working on. So let's say I wasn't able to get to this today. At the end of the day, and I'm not going to be able to do this. Well, then I'm just going to update the due date to tomorrow instead of the task moving to overdue. That way, when I get to come into the office tomorrow, everything is going to be ready for me to go. It's going to know, Asana is going to automatically populate that I need to do this today, and it's ready to go. Hey guys, I hope this video helped. If you are wanting any help with any of your business processes or getting the most out of Asana, check out the link in the bio. This will direct you to me and my team and we're happy to give you a three hour consultation to see how you can get the most out of Asana and improve your business processes. And as an added bonus for checking out this video, we're gonna give you access to a free Asana course. The link is in the bio, check it out.